Hi, it's me. It's Bob. Say hi, Bob. No, this is the, the video you're allowed to talk in. Hi. He's so happy. Happy man, isn't he? Happy October. What's that thing I told you to remember? You gotta touch your tatas, ladies. That's no, that's not the website. Read it on the back. It's not a website. It's a... It's a hashtag thing. Yeah. For the hard rock. What is it? October AC. Uh, Rocktober, something like that. Pinktober, Pinktober. AC. That's, That's it. it. So, touch your tie ties, get them taken care of, lots of mammograms and all that. Tell your sisters, tell your aunts, uncles. Well, not your uncles. But Anyway, we don't have a whole bunch of food to eat. And if you do notice the top of my head, I did something of like the charcoal challenge, except mine was gold. It was just with gold glitter. Um. I'm going to redo that video when my eyebrows grow back in and my baby hairs grow back in. Feels good here, but around right here I'm dying. Anyway, you'll see this thing going around called jackfruit. And no, none of your friends jack have anything to do with it. It's a great big fruit and there's many, many recipes out to there. Uh, once again, I'm going to say that I found it through Asian ways. Um, I saw an Asian chef on t on YouTube who did this, and then I found, you know, other videos that um, explain how to use this, how to eat this, what this is. And jackfruit is a fruit of many things, much like spaghetti squash, and you cook it up, and then you put some spaghetti sauce on top of it, and you don't tell your kids, and then they eat a vegetable. Jackfruit is best known for being called pork pulled jackfruit. What is that? Pork pulled. You can take the jackfruit, open it up, and inside is pods. And when you're done opening it all up, you should end up with 20 to 30 different pods. Literally about that big. And you can break them all down, and you cook them up like a pulled pork or barbecue or anything you want to. I mean, you can eat them right out of your hands, and that's what we're going to do. Bob found them in slices because we don't need to waste all that food we broke. Figure that. So he was out wandering around and managed to find a couple cheaper pieces on it. We don't know anything about this, but when you go Google um, jackfruit, you'll find out that it's got lots and lots of spines. They'll open it up. They'll pull the pods out. And inside is also a seed. I know nothing about growing them. I have no idea. We are just tasting this. That's all. We've never tasted it. We have no ulterior motives. We are just tasting this. Okay. These are already processed. And... The top of it is peeled back, which is all spiny and it's hard to explain. I really do hope you all come up and uh, Google this. Let me get in here closer with you. It's supposed it smells sweet. It's supposed to smell sweet. Here. I have heard different things, and I've heard it called different things. It's supposed to smell horrible. No, that's different. It's not this. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell real great right now either, but this is what it looks like. Almost pineapple-y looking, huh? Here's the back of one of these things. And like I said, once you find out how big this is, you'll notice that this is just a slice. The pods look a lot like this. Here you go. Just like this. And it pulls apart. Like Bob's piece. Show your piece, Bob. And it's pliable. So people do. They flat out just make pulled pork out of it. And that's the seeds. They, they literally cook it like pulled pork with barbecue sauce and all that. And it's supposed to be like the vegan answer to... Vegan... 
or vegetarian but, or I mean, gluten I'm free. Eat the fruit. I want to see what the fruit tastes like. I don't care about no. Yeah, fruit. we've heard that cantaloupe. Okay, I'm going to get my little pod right here. And the seeds that come out of this, you're supposed to be able to roast them. I think they said they were like potatoes. Yes, they're a delicacy. They're, they're like potatoes or something if you roast them. Yeah, I heard that they're a delicacy too. So this is no joke. This is a flat-out fruit. It's called jackfruit. You can use it for many things. Usually so. very, very large. So I've got like a dirty melon smell. Almost like a cantaloupe. You don't get the taste right away. Mm -hmm. I've got like a little sweet of a cantaloupe. You get more flavor as you go. But I can't say I'm a fan of this flavor. I can see that a lot that would be done for this would just like pulled pork. You see how good he's pulling that apart? See how easy that is in those feathery things? That's the core. This is the pit that gets roasted. And that's the meat. And they're doing wonderful things with this. People that can't eat meat, don't want to eat meat, whatever the reason, you can pull it apart and treat it just like anything else. Shredded pork, shredded turkey, shredded whatever. Um, I would give it a thumbs up. I don't know about roasting these nuts. Everything smelled good. He liked it more than I did. What do you think? What do you give it? Yeah, it's not bad. Would you roast pork with it? Um, I might try it. This is the size of the pod before it's broken down and processed. All right. Well, then that's it for us. Not too silly in this tonight, but just bona fide tasting things. And it went well. So, uh, peace. Happy Halloween. Touch your tatas. Make sure there's no bumps. See you from Bob and I.